is our house. This is our house, huh? Yes. We're what? checking out of our house tomorrow into another one, Eugene. What happened to Adrienne Florine? Where is she right now? Why hasn't she uploaded any videos what onto YouTube? Say? What did say? I am now going to answer these questions because obviously I am not in my house. And Many people have been asking why I haven't uploaded a video onto YouTube. The door! The our house! It is! It is our house. This is our house, huh? Yes. We're what? checking out of our house tomorrow into another one, Eugene. Daddy is going to get our car, but it's not actually going to be our car. It's going to be a car we're borrowing. What car? What? Our temporary new car, like this is our temporary new house. What car? What car? What car? You'll see it when it parks in the driveway. I have not moved out of my house permanently. However, I have moved out of my house temporarily. This is where I'm staying until tomorrow. In this house with a nice kitchen that's a little bit small. The only thing that's really wrong with this kitchen is that when the dishwasher runs, <laughs> water comes up one of the sides of the sink. As you can see, it's happening right now, and it's really disgusting. And I have computers with me. So why haven't I uploaded any YouTube videos? Well, first of all, I have to tell you something. This is not my official announcement, because my official announcement, like many other YouTube videos that I have either finished or almost completely finished are stuck on hard drives but not that hard drive hard drives that are in a box in the corner of my bedroom covered in a bunch of stuff where I can't get to them but what I would like to announce is I'm pregnant as you can see sorry for never uploading my official pregnancy announcement as I said, it's stuck on a hard drive. And why is that? Well, I will tell you why my hard drives and a lot of my stuff are stuck in my house and I can't access them. A little over a month ago, I hired some plumbers to remodel my bathroom. <laughs> I just had to get a shot of the bathroom at this house while starting this story. They said it would take four days and I booked a six day vacation knowing that it would take more than four days. I thought it would take six or seven days. And when I returned to my house in maybe 10 days, I think it was nine or 10 days after the plumbers started to work, not only had they not remodeled my bathroom, but they had damaged thousands of dollars of supplies and left my house in such a state of disrepair and disarray that it was almost unbelievable. They did a lot of things wrong before they stopped working on my house completely and disappeared. So when I got home with my family. I did not have a bathroom, nor did I have a kitchen, which was the next thing the plumbers were supposed to install after finishing the bathroom. And 
we could not go in our bedrooms because of the construction dust that the plumbers had basically spread from end to end in my house. It had gone under our doors and in between the cracks in our door frames and coated everything in our bedrooms, which were supposed to have been taped off before any dust creating construction started. Once we got the last of our stuff we were taking with us out of the bedrooms, we expected them to be taped off. <laughs> and that did not happen. We left with only a week of clothes. On the bed we took with us. On the bed And very few of Eugene's toys and video games. And because I had no idea that this was going to happen, I have not been able to find one place to stay consistently for the more than a month that we've been out of my house. I have rented various different hotels and houses on Airbnb. It's about to be Labor Day weekend, so all of the Airbnb houses are rented, so we will be staying in a hotel, a hotel with a kitchen in it for the next few days before checking out of the hotel and checking into another house. I've also had car problems. I've had some minor pregnancy complications that are not severe or very severe, but that have required things like blood tests and ultrasounds. I'm sure everyone is wondering where my cats are also. My cats are at my house. They're all in my living room. Somebody is staying there watching them. Somebody who's not pregnant or four years old who can wait to get to the bathroom is staying at my house watching my cats, feeding them, and hopefully cleaning their litter boxes. Although I've had to go back there and do that a few times when the person was not able to. And because I don't want my cats to feel abandoned, I have started to bring a few cats at a time to spend a night or a few nights with me at the places that we're staying that allow pets. This really nice house does not allow pets probably because of the artwork. They wouldn't want pets to destroy it. But the house that we were staying at before this one did allow pets. I brought Marley and Donald over there for the night and gave them baths and had to replace the shower head <laughs> in the bathroom there because it broke. And on the topic of broken plumbing, my month-long unplanned vacation where I have been staying in hotels and Airbnbs has been like a tour of California's substandard housing. There has been something wrong with the toilet in almost every house that we've stayed in, including this one. You can't really tell on camera as well as you can tell when you sit on it, but the toilet leans to the left quite a bit. And almost every hotel, except for one hotel that still had plumbing issues. My boyfriend is now back. Oh, I can't wait to see the car. Eugene, do you want to see our new temporary car? It's in the driveway of our temporary house. Wow, that's actually a nice car. Yeah, it's got a few issues. It's got a few issues, but it looks nicer than the car that I rented. And it's a manual. I hate the headrest. Worst headrest ever. 
I don't know if I mentioned this, but we've also had car problems. We haven't just had house problems, oh no, we've had car problems as well. This is the car that the car repair shop is loaning us while they fixed our car again after apparently installing the wrong part in it. Can you hand me that part, please? I need my part. We are now about to drive back to my own house my actual house to check on the progress of the construction there's a contractor there right now i'm not sure if he's actually doing any work or just looking at things but a plumber is supposed to show up very 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 soon to actually start to repair some stuff that urgently needs to be repaired so we can continue the process of fixing my house Hopefully, it will be done before my baby is born. We're starting to get worried that it won't. Very worried. So I better stop recording this video and start getting ready to go. Please put a napkin over this leftover meat. Can you just get it? That I'm going to feed to my cats. We are about to leave our temporary house to go to my house, and there is a problem. The umbrella is about to blow away in the wind, taking a bunch of stuff with it. Please go outside and do something about that. They can shoot and pierce things. They're also very heavy. I don't want it to fall on me while I'm pregnant. So please just close it if possible. It doesn't stand straight up. <laughs> I am now leaving to go to my house. I've got the meat for my cats, meat and fish. What we see there will be another video. This is just the video explaining what happened to me and letting you know I haven't disappeared off the face of the earth. We're going to my house. Please like this video, share this video. That sounds a little rough. Watch my other videos <laughs> and subscribe right. to my channel. The car is so no stop sad. The car is super sad. It just feels like it's got a good bit of torque at <laughs> decent RPMs. Any kind of manual transmissions like that, Eugene? He's stirring up and looks like something. Oh, washing something around. That is morning. Five Instant people. Instant coffee. See you guys in my next video, which will hopefully be uploaded onto YouTube very soon.